want to edit or vectorize your AI generated image from Midjourney or any of the AI image generator, this is the video for you. Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to vectorize any AI images using Adobe Illustrator. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. So obviously the first thing you need to do is to generate an image. You can use Midjourney or actually I prefer to use Adobe Firefly. So I'm just going to generate an image from here. I'm going to use the text to image feature to show you an example. And I'm just going to um, make a very basic, let's say a coffee with a croissant image. And then I will show you how to vectorize it in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so this image doesn't look so bad and it looks pretty realistic. So it would be a good example to begin with. Okay, so once you have your image generated by any of the AI tools of your choice, simply open the image in Adobe Illustrator. I do have a tutorial on how to vectorize any image in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to watch that full tutorial, you can find the link in the description below. So in this video, I will just quickly go over the step since I already have a video and a tutorial talking about how to vectorize an image in Adobe Illustrator. However, sometimes the AI image can be a little bit more complicated. However, for a simple image like this, it's super easy if you just want to use the image trace tool. So go ahead and select the image. You can open the image trace panel from window image trace and then you can choose the preset um, if you want to make it like really realistic almost identical to this original image you can simply click high fidelity photo as you can see if you zoom in you can see kind of a, a little bit more like a vector image and then if you want to edit any part of this image you can go ahead and expand it from the object expand and you can edit any of the parts if you just ungroup them you can add an individual part of this image. However, it's quite complicated. The image trace only works if you want to simply vectorize the rest of the image and then keep it as it is when it has a complicated background. However, when it has a simple background, you can use the image trace tool to remove the background even. However, usually AI images, they are quite abstract. So if you want to vectorize this image and then make it a little bit more like cartoonish or edit any parts, I do have another method that you can use, which is a little bit more complicated. You don't need to use a pen tool to trace all the outlines and then you can color each part individually. All right, so if you decided to do that, just go ahead and choose a pen tool from the toolbar and start tracing the outline of the coffee cup. I would recommend tracing each shape that you want to feel the color in a separate, in a closed path, let's say. In this case, you can uh, color it easier later on. And then you can also adjust any of the anchor points using the direct selection tool later on. So you don't have to worry about getting the perfect curve or the perfect path right now. Once you have everything traced, now you can choose a closed path area and add colors to them. Alright, so I just basically made this uh, coffee vector from scratch right now so then it doesn't come up that great. Um, just to show you how it works, if you want to learn more about how to use the pen tool to trace or how to vectorize an image, yeah, you can find the links to the video tutorials or the step-by-step -step tutorial in the description below. And you can definitely do the same, repeat the same steps to vectorize the rest of the AI image if you want to turn it into more of like a graphic style. So basically all you need to do is use the pen tool to trace and then remember to trace each area separately so that you can color them better and then yeah, add the color to them. I always use a traditional way to just uh, color them using the eyedropper tool. Um, if you want, you can also use the light paint bucket 
and uh, if you want to learn more about it i also have an article talking about how to use the light paint bucket in adobe illustrator all right i'm going to show you another example of how to vectorize a mid-journey image all right so how about if you already generated an image like this it's already looking like a vector image however it's raster if you zoom in obviously you can see the pixels in this case i would say that the image trace tool would work the best i mean probably this is the only way to vectorize this type of unrealistic type of um, ai images just think about it if you want to use the pen tool method that i just talked about earlier you are gonna get crazy tracing all these details so the easiest ways to do this is definitely using the image trace option okay since i already have the image trace panel open i'm just going to choose from here otherwise i always select the image and then you do see the image trace options under quick actions if you are not familiar with the illustrator panels and um, workspace I do have a video tutorial explaining the workspace in less than 10 minutes. If, if you are interested to learn more about it, feel free to check out my video tutorial. So once you have the image selected, simply click on image trace and choose um, really depending on how many color you want to keep. If you want to keep almost the same as the original image, the option is always high fidelity photo. So, but in this case, I'm going to show you um, something different. I'm going to put 16 colors only. So if you choose this option, it only keeps 16 colors in the image. Um, if you have the image trace panel open, you can move the slider around to adjust the number of color that you want to keep. For example, I want to make it even less, 10 colors. Just remember that the less color you have, the easier it is for you to edit the image if you want. So. Okay, I'm just going to keep it as it is and I'm going to expand the image also from the properties panel and then ungroup it. And I'm going to use a magic wand to choose the dark area. So magic wand, I'm going to click on this. Let me see what it selects. Well, I'm going to just put zero. So it only select the dark area and then I can quickly just change the color So once you vectorize your image, you can just group them back again so that you don't edit any parts by mistake. All right, so select all using the keyboard shortcut command or control and A. And then use a the keyboard shortcut command and G to group it. Or if you are not familiar with the keyboard shortcut, go ahead and right click and select group. That's right. It works actually pretty much the same as vectorizing any image in Adobe Illustrator. Although AI images, they somehow can be more complicated to, um, let's say, to trace if you're using the pen tool. And then it's almost impossible to trace using image trace if you really generated like a super futuristic photo. So yeah, I would say that's the only difference as um, vectorizing any normal images in Adobe Illustrator. So hope you enjoyed this video. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.